from the campus studios of Sarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hello, welcome back to Ropecast, the podcast about learning English and all things to do with that. I'm Peter Tischer. And I'm Roger Charlton. Hey, Roger, you know how the other week we were talking about these proverbs? Yes. I came across the, a wonderful one that I didn't know before. A leopard does not change its spots. You didn't know that? No, I think that's so cool. <laughs> you know, it, it means I'm interpreting it correctly that... A person does not really ever change. Yes, deep down, they remain the same person. I got to remember that. I yeah. think it's so cool. Yeah, I can understand you. You liking that one, and it's you know, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind, it is not frequent. It is not. No, mm. no. I love learning those. Though. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. Well, they're fun, aren't they? They're colorful. But most of these proverbs are relatively rare compared with regular vocabulary. Are they? They are, yeah. Um, even something like old habits die hard, which is among the high frequency proverbs, is not as frequent as a huge amount of English vocabulary. So it's less useful than one would think to learn proverbs. <sighs> yeah, I think if if you're keeping in mind cultural values, like we mentioned before, okay, but otherwise... Mm, But it takes kind of the fun out of learning. I mean, I love these. Well, surely there are plenty of colorful expressions that are more frequent than proverbs. For example? Well, I think we, we, we dealt with some of this in a podcast way back, I mean, 19, 20, 21, somewhere around mm -hmm. there. I mean, episode 20. Something, yeah, somewhere yeah, around yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> 1920. <laughs> so I would go more for um, some idioms are more frequent. Mm -hmm. Or simply colorful ways of expressing basic ideas. There are things with as, as, for example. Or like. Yes, like. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know one. Uh, when you feel extremely uncomfortable in your surroundings, you are like a fish out of water. That oh, yes. Be one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's very understandable, too, isn't it? It's, mm -hmm. You can visualize this. Right. Any others that you can think of with like? Um... Yeah. Okay, for similarity, like two peas in a pod. You know, the pod is what encases peas on the pea plant. Ah, okay, so two things are extremely alike, almost yeah. identical. Yeah. Ah, okay. Where in German, you talk about eggs, don't you? Right, one <laughs> egg looks exactly like the other. Yeah. Right. Uh, things that fit well together, although they are different, you would say they fit like hand in glove. Oh, yes. Or two people who work together are hand in glove. Right. So that's a useful expression. Yeah. But they are different. That doesn't mean they're identical. No, not at all. Right. Uh, there's one that expresses opposition also, mm. or at least something undesirable. You need something like a hole in the head. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> means you don't. You absolutely don't want it. Right. Yeah. Right. So those are kind of cool. Yeah. Um, there is also, when I mean, they're not idioms, but Germans, when they're speaking English, often say something that sounds to me very German. I have made the experience. Mm -hmm. This is not native speaker English. We would say, um, in my experience. Ah, yeah, just okay. a simple preposition there, in my experience. Okay. So these are, they, these are very common collocations, and you can find them in all the learner's dictionaries. Mm -hmm. And in terms of learning efficiency, they would be more important than proverbs. Okay, granted. However, in my experience, <laughs> they're a little bit less fun to learn. Okay, granted. <laughs> okay, so people, have fun learning whichever way you like. Yes. And, of course, download us again in two weeks. Goodbye and have a nice week. Goodbye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University. Featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.